when we look at this solo, we're thinking we're basing it off of our A minor chord. Start on A minor and go to a G. So our first thought is it's going to be an A minor or A aeolian. But then when we get to our next two chords, our D major and our C, the D major is going to tell us that we're actually in A Dorian. So our tone center is A, okay, but we're playing our Dorian scale because of the D major chord. Now we're starting this off in our A minor pentatonic with just a bend. A real Eric Clapton lick um, where he's playing that, bends this, and then we're going to bar with our first finger on this note and then catch our third string and then we're just doing a little bend there like a little quarter step bend there's more of an attitude bend than anything and then we go up to the second position of our a minor pentatonic scale here and we're going to do this these two these two notes are, are fi a fifth basically and i'm keeping my pinky my fourth finger on the tenth fret first string and then i am sliding the second string eighth fret down one fret so it gives it that kind of once again a little edgy sound and then we go to here and slide this note down so I'm sliding on my second finger here from the third string at the ninth fret and then pulling off to my first finger and I'm down to my first position of A minor pentatonic Right, then doing a double stop slide, first string and second string. And then I'm going to slide up from three to five here. And once again, holding those down. You see the idea of this solo is because the rhythm is really open, we want the solo to be really some, a lot of slides, a lot of phrasing, have it sound really smooth. So as we slide up here, I'm holding down the second string at the fifth fret and the first string at the third fret, picking back and forth between them, and then doing another double stop, which is two notes, double stop slide from three to five on the first two strings, and then sliding from five to two on the third string. So we got... So by doing all those slides, it really gives it that sort of slippery, syrupy sound, which is what we want when it's real open like this. Then our next section, just a bend in our minor pentatonic scale. Sliding up. And there I'm playing this note, which is 2nd string, 8th fret, sliding to the 10th fret, and then sliding it up to the 13th fret without picking it again. Now if I picked it, it would just lose some of that real fluid sound that we've got. The next section moves up to what would really be our 5th position of our A minor pentatonic scale, and we bend our second string at the 17th fret but we've got to bend up in order because we're bending up to the next note in our a minor pentatonic scale we're bending from the 17th fret all the way up to the 20th fret a one and a half step bend and then just walking right down off of there and then a little bend here where I'm bending this up, I'm actually starting with it bent up. So instead of going up, I start with it up and go. Let it come down. Pull off. So from my. And then one more of just like the slide we did down here, but we're going to go. And do our slide with no picking and then bend. So at the end of that, after bend, after sliding from our 13 to 15 to 17, instead of picking that one, we just want to bend it. And once again, that's a step and a half bend to get all the way up to this note. 